Hey guys, today I'm going to share a video with you about some products I have used to try to help my rosacea. I'm going to go through drugstore ones, non-conventional ones, and um, prescription ones. And I have quite a few that I've gone through over, it's probably been close to a year now. And I'm going to share my thoughts and tell you how they've worked for me. And I guess that's all, so let's get started. First off, one of the first ones I ever tried from the drugstore was the Prosacea Gel Rosacea Treatment. It's a homeopathic topical gel and it is sulfur. The active ingredient is Sulfur 1X. I don't know what the X stands for. This is what it looks like. It's about $10. It is just a clear gel. I mean, nothing to really show you. And it worked for about a week or two maybe three weeks and it worked really well and then it just quit working it just didn't do anything it was like I was just using nothing so you know it it did work for a bit and it may be something that you can use it helps then you have to take time off of it and use it again but that's just not what I was looking for I wanted to use something that just really helped me all the time but it was not bad the next product I picked up from the drugstore was the Triderma MD Facial Redness Repair. Fast healing for sensitive skin, reduces redness and inflammation, helps prevent rosacea flare-ups, fights broken capillaries, and it has aloe in it. And I got this on Amazon. It was maybe, I don't know, eight to $12. And it worked for about a week or two. And then it just quit working, just like the prosacea. So if you want to pick up something from the drugstore, this did work longer than this. And this was a cream. And it was kind of thick to where, I mean, it would make, <laughs> you can see that. It would make wearing under makeup a little harder because it wasn't quite as thin and consistency as the Prosacea. So if I had to tell you to try one, I would pick the Prosacea, but they both did quit working on me. And during this time, I had been off and on on the Retin-A. My dermatologist had prescribed me Retin-A at first when I had gone in initially over a little spot on my cheek that we thought was just this acne spot that went clear up. Truth be told, I was a little worried it was skin cancer. I've since had a biopsy, and it is acne and rosacea. Um, the Retin-A never did anything bad to the rosacea. It didn't really do anything good for it. Um, I mean, I do think it kept it maybe a little irritated, so that is also my experience with the rosacea, I mean with the retin-A. Then my dermatologist also put me on a month of antibiotics, which I did not want to use, but after going through all these treatments, I was like, let's just try it. And I believe it was doxycycline. It's really unimportant because I was on it for an entire month and it didn't clear up my rosacea one single bit. My dermatologist takes pictures of me every time I'm in the office so we're able to see. Plus, I'm pretty obsessive about my skin so I do know how it looks. Okay, then we also, she decided, let's pull out the big guns. Let me try Phenacea. She put me on Phenacea, which is an azelaic acid gel 15%. And she wanted me to use it for an entire month and not anything else and see how it helped didn't do anything i mean it might have i might have had like a good day here and there because that's the thing with the rosacea with the flare-ups is it's constantly bad good bad good it may look great one day and then just terrible the next and then when it's terrible it takes days and days to get it back looking the way it did before the flare-up so and it's a shame because this was very expensive i mean very expensive and it did nothing for me. Another treatment she had me use was the Mirvaso, and it's a topical gel. I had a few samples, and all this is, is it's kind of a redness controlling. You put it on your skin, and it's supposed to, I don't know, maybe within 10, 15 minutes, I'm not quite sure, I don't really remember, calm down the redness, and it's kind of, it's a temporary fix, basically, for the day the redness will be gone and then when you wash it off or by the end of the day it's kind of quit working this didn't help me at all a lot of people that use it said that they would have it would be worse the next day from using this but say they were going on an interview or they were taking pictures or whatever they found it was worthwhile because to have the redness gone for a day it was worth the price they would pay the next day this didn't take away my redness at all but I also have um, 
which I didn't even mention. I'm so sorry. I have the type 2 rosacea that's kind of the pustules. I don't have just the facial redness. I have the type 2, which is, you know, the pustules. It's the really gross texture kind. So, sad to say, this didn't help me at all. And one product I had used in between some of these treatments, I wanted to save it for the end, was the CBU Beauty Seed Buckthorn Seed Oil. And I do want to mention, I have never been contacted by them. I've purchased their products completely myself from their website and from Amazon. This is the only thing that has ever helped my rosacea 100%. When I'm using this, I can tell a world of difference. The redness is so much lessened. The bumps are pretty non-existent. I don't really get the bumps. Occasionally, I'll get like a little bump, and I use this, you know, if I do use this morning and night, and it's completely gone and taken care of. And during some of my stuff I was using, I had found this. One day, I had had a bottle for whatever, and it, I saw the word rosacea, and I said, let me try it. And I take about a dime-sized amount, and I really work it into those areas on my cheeks. Well, when she put me on the Phenacea, I decided to give this a break and just really try the Phenacea and see how it worked. My skin was so bad, it was not helping it, and after the month of this, I went back to the Cebu, and my skin was so much better. It is not cleared by any means. At the end of the video, I will insert a clip of my face without any makeup on so you can see exactly what my skin looks like. Um, I mean, it's not like it took it away, but it's the only thing that keeps it at bay. The only thing. Well, since then, I've decided I need to come up with some other things to try to help my skin out, you know, because I don't want to have to cover it up with makeup for the rest of my life. And my dermatologist is kind of on the laser therapy treatment, which is something I may implore a little bit. I don't know. That's something I just have to think about. So... In a lot of my research, I found people started taking probiotics. So I've been doing that. I've been taking them for about a month and a half now. And I have to say, I think that I see a pretty good improvement. Um, not 100%, but, you know, I need to give it some more time. But I have seen an improvement for sure. I would definitely suggest if you have rosacea, try taking a probiotic every day. I mean, what can it hurt you? And I have since this past month... February, probably mid-February, I've cut out dairy. I know, it's been hard. It has been really hard. Um, I don't do a lot, I didn't drink a lot of milk, but I would in like my chai tea lattes and stuff like that. So I've switched to almond milk. Um, I use almond milk in my oatmeal. If I'm cooking a meal for my family and it calls for like a cup of milk or a cup of cream, I will use the dairy there, but I don't use like cheese on my like for lunch a lot of time me and my daughter will have wraps i don't put cheese on that i don't use sour cream a lot so occasionally i do use some dairy in some cooking so i don't want to say i'm 100 percent dairy free but i'm 95 percent 95 percent dairy free um i have noticed an improvement with that as well because a lot of people also say cutting out gluten helps but i just didn't want to go that route so I did make a few lifestyle changes. I do not drink red wine. I'm not a big drinker anyways. I'd really prefer a beer or a glass of Moscato. Um, alcohol triggers it. So I try not to drink any alcohol at all, but that's not hard for me anyways. And I just decided, well, if red wine's bad, I'll just cut that out completely. I do eat spicy foods, but cutting out all the other stuff and my other treatments I've done as well. I feel like the spicy food I'm able to do. Um, I mean, I'm just not going to cut out my Louisiana hot sauce. So, you know, um, and that's really, I can't say that I find any specific trigger. If I'm out in the sun a lot, I do know it looks, it can look bad. So I'm kind of dreading the summer. But other than that, that is, those are my tips. And I'm so sorry if you clicked on this video, hoping I could give you some miracle cure. I can't. Um, it's just I wanted to share a lot of these treatments because when I was looking up YouTube videos, there's not a lot of really helpful rosacea videos. There was a few people that I saw, but um, I mean, there wasn't a ton. So I wanted to give you my few cents and my experience. And if I could take anything away from this, use the CBU Beauty Seabuck Thorn Oil. Um, I mean... And I did, I have applied it all over my face, but I don't find that it gives me the benefits as I take a little bit and really work it into those areas. And like I said, I have the type that's the pustules. I don't have just the overall redness. 
So that could be a whole nother beast. I don't even know. And taking the probiotics and really cutting out the dairy as much as possible. Those have been the biggest helps for me. So like I said, I will include a clip at the end of the video of a makeup free face so you can see, especially if you're a regular watcher, you probably haven't seen me makeup free in a while. So it may be exciting for you. I don't know. So that is all for now. I will let you guys go. I so hope it helped somebody. If you have any tips or tricks, please be sure to let me know down below. And that's all. I will see you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, this is my bare face. As you can see, I definitely have, um, I don't have like crazy overall redness you can see compared to this but I definitely have these patches on my cheeks it's just like little red spots like little dots but you can see how it's a little pustule just the texture is really ruddy and ugly I will say I don't know if y'all will believe me, but it definitely is a little magnified on camera. It's not this red in person. I'm looking in a mirror right now, and this is pretty much all the same color of my flesh, and this is what stands out red, so it's definitely bringing out the redness. But this is my first thing in the morning without any um, makeup on, so this is what it looks like. So you can see, I, I mean... It is really improved. I don't know if y'all can tell a difference, but I can tell a big difference. So that's all.